Hickok 45 here with the last AR-15 I would ever sell. You just don't know which one it is yet. Maybe I'm not sure myself, but we're going to explore it. We've done this before with some other firearms. I'll make sure this one goes into that playlist. But anyway, we're going to look at these five. I've narrowed it down to five, and uh, then we'll go down to three and a one, the one I would keep. Okay, so whether it makes any sense or not to you, maybe not, might not make a lot of sense. So, before we start, well, no, let's go ahead and start and let's shoot something. You want to? Well, here are the five. We've got uh, the LWRC, we've got the uh, Daniel Defense, kind of M4 SOCOM, the BCM Recce, got my old A2. And what is that over there? It looks like a Daniel Defense. D7, I believe. Yeah, so I was able to narrow it down to these five. Okay, life is tough, isn't it? Yeah, when you <laughs> when you look through your AR-15 collection and uh, you don't even have them all out here and you've got five, right? So at least today, you know. Uh, never know when some could be traded, sold, bought, replaced. You know how that goes. But anyway, uh, those are the five I've narrowed it down to. And I'm gonna just take a few shots with each one, tell you why I even own them. Because these are firearms, uh, there must be something about each firearm here on this table that I like, obviously. Why? Think about it. Yeah, bought them all. You know, I made a choice and have acquired, through hook or crook somehow, <laughs> all of these firearms. And uh, some of them actually were I guess, uh, let's see, a gun shop. Yeah, actually, believe it or not, two of them were given to us by a gun shop as promotion, that sort of thing. So, so however, I came by these. They are some of my favorites. This one, the LWRC, oh man, especially. It's just a beautiful rifle. As you know, they, uh, they are almost state of the art, right, uh, LWRC. I've not been able to get that barrel untwisted. I've tried over and over again. It's still twisted, but I've cranked on it and cranked on it. And uh, so I've decided to leave it that way. It seems to shoot okay. So this is the 6.8 spec two. And uh, let me remind myself what I like about it or don't like about it. Let's put it around. All these firearms have a loaded magazine with nothing in the chamber, except this one now. <laughs> so let's blast something with it like... Uh, well, a two liter. Good job in a bowling pin. Whoa, knocked that pin, didn't it? Let's go over there on the red plate. As you can see, it hits hard. That's a heavy red plate. It also uh, penetrates paper well. <laughs> it smokes pot. It'll do it all. Wow, it really rocks a pin. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to go back over there and hit another red plate. That's a sweet one. That's a sweet one. And I'll tell you what, I will confess, when I first uh, got these together, this was the one I thought, just uh, without thinking too deeply about it, which is something I'm good at, not thinking too deeply, yeah, this would be my obviously my last one I could let go because it's just an incredible rifle. Beautiful gun. Uh, the reputation of the company is unsurpassed. And, uh, yeah, it just shoots well. It's a great cartridge and all that. But maybe it's not my last choice. We have, of course, the uh, M4 SOCOM with the big quad rail from, uh, you know, Daniel Defense. This is another favorite uh, we got from the gun parlor in... Uh, uh, Massachusetts in specifically Worcester, Massachusetts. I've learned to say that, <laughs> that's that town. And uh, so I think I'll take a couple of shots with it. Appreciate their help. And uh, speaking of silence, let's make some more noise with this uh, SOCOM. This has a quad rail. You know, those uh, in a way they've gone out of favor, but they might be making a comeback. You might have a Mark 18 like John does with that big quad rail. It, uh, it's kind of nice. You don't have to think about M-Lock or key mod or anything so much, do you? All right, got around the chamber. See if the sights are on. They're still on. 
Looks like they might be pretty good. Wow, yeah, for metal sights. How about the one on the right? Smack. How about a bowling pin? And a two liter. <laughs> and let's see if this old 556 will penetrate paper. Not bad. I think I see a soft drink down there. There's a paint can. <laughs> Pretty nice. Uh, let's put another one on that red plate. Yeah, sweet rifle. It is. Oh, uh, that one would do, wouldn't it? If that's all you had. If you had to give up your others. I don't want to give up any of them. No side there. All right, then we got the BCM, which is another favorite of mine. It's uh, you know, it's very much like the uh, V7 from Daniel Defense, and uh, just a nice. You know, you, it is the, the key mod. You don't have the big rail. It just feels good. It's fairly lightweight. And uh, I, I just, uh, it's a favorite, I have to say. <laughs> it's why it's out here. Yeah, man, just lays them in there. holding too much over you have to remember with a uh, an ar-15 boys and girls i've told you many times you know, your sight uh, plane and your barrel and everything is uh, at closer distances you can't just hold right on the little dot that you want to hit uh, you got to get a little distance before that so this is a nice one just feels good in the hand and uh, you know your rail up there you can put any kind of sight on it you want to uh, bcm has a great reputation as a company yeah, adjustable stock. It's just a nice choice because you know it's from a quality company. It's a quality AR, and it feels great. And uh, it's hard to beat. And then the old A2. Oh man, you've seen it before. Which is uh, a lot of it's A1. It was a transitional gun. I've, I've mentioned that several times. I bought it new though, and uh, you know it's got A1 like lower and upper. John thinks the lower is even a pre uh, A1. And uh, it's just, uh, but it's been redone maybe. Colt, you know, redid it. Got a lot of these back maybe from Vietnam or whatever and, and uh, just re whatever, anodized them, parkerized them and, and all that. So, uh, but then the rest of it's pretty much A2. But I bought this in 83, 84. And so, you know, this is a favorite, don't you? Boom. Yeah, let's go over there. <laughs> oh yeah, the difference is you get that twang with the puppy spring. Nice. Let's go back over there and hit that plate in the middle. Oh boy, the good old A2. You know that's a fave. Because I have, what, 30, over 35 years of history with that. Longer than some of you have been alive. So you can see why that made the, the cut, can't you? And then here we go. The old Daniel Defense uh, V7, DDM4 V7. Beautiful gun. Uh, nothing fancy about it, although the grip is a little fancy <laughs> and just feels good like the BCM. Uh, if, if you blindfolded me and handed me these uh, separately, the BCM and this one, you know, I might not be able to tell the difference right away. Well, I could with the grip, but uh, they're just uh, very similar, similar weight, configuration. Everything you need, but nothing you don't, right? Let's shoot something close here. <laughs> and the paper. <laughs> hey, that's a sweetie. It's interesting, after shooting the A2, uh, hey, there's a difference. 
<laughs> there is a difference in the uh yeah it went from that twang of a uh, 35 40 year old ar-15 to this one and uh this one's just a little smoother you don't get that that twang every time you pull the trigger it's kind of nice all right so <sighs> really this was just an excuse to shoot them okay that's a, that's all videos over <laughs> just wanted a reason to bring them out and shoot them uh well okay a lot of reasons to keep them all right and that's why i still have them I'm going to narrow it down. Let's say, uh, oh boy, it's tough. Uh, I like this a lot. I, I, the quad rail is kind of coming back to it's growing on me again. I'm kind of like John. John's decided he really does like quad rail. We, we sort of went through a spell where we decided, ah, big old chunky thing, but I, I like that. But I'm going to put it in the honorable mention stack over here. That's the honorable mention stack. And great gun of course this one is going to go in the honorable mention stack because of uh largely because of the the chambering i love the 6.8 and you know it might be my choice to defend the fort okay 30 round mags you know ammo and everything's widely available it's very good and it's an incredible gun but if i can only have one when we're talking AR-15s, you know, or carry pistols or something, it's a little different from a range gun, maybe even a hunting rifle. You know, it's just a little bit different because if I can just have one of this type rifle, uh, practicality becomes a little bit of an issue. Not just one I think is prettiest, maybe, or even one I have had the longest, maybe. Okay. And... If I had to go to battle with this one, I might not be able to find anybody to help me with ammo or compatible magazines or whatever, as much as I like it. So I'm going to put it in the honorable mention stack. I hate to do it because I really like that rifle. All right. Honorable mention. Okay, that leaves us with three over here to choose from. Let's knock everything around. You notice I knock things around with this big musket, the A2, <laughs> with a long barrel, right? Okay, I'm going to bring the V7 over here. Okay, so it's going to come down to these three. Uh, am I thinking right? No, you know, actually, uh, these are so much alike. The BCM, and we got the old BCM versus the Daniel Defense. Like I say, they're very similar. I'm going to, that would be uh, in my top three. I think the BCM is going to go honorable mention. Actually, the LWRC would probably be in my top three, even though the, the criticisms I just gave you for it because uh, it's just such a great rifle okay so i gotta choose amongst these three and you know what uh the lwrc has going for it even though the barrel will not become untwisted as much as i've tried it's incredible quality daniel defense nobody needs to tell any of us uh, whether you are a daniel defense fan or not or whether you think they're overpriced or not or you know all that stuff we see all over the internet about everything right uh, hardly anybody argues uh, about the quality of Daniel Defense and the LWRC and even Colt, you know, Colt, uh, maybe in recent years you could. So quality is not that big an issue with any of them. Ammo compatibility, as I said, does become a little bit of an issue. If I can just have one rifle like this, okay? So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the, the LWRC over there out of the the choices top choices now we're down to my old rifle i bought in the early 80s that's been a, a loyal companion for all these years since before some of you were born <laughs> i was shooting this rifle before you were born right uh, many of you and this uh v7 you know daniel defense v7 m4 i have had uh, i don't know four five six years whatever it's been but uh it would if i just have to limit to one because these these are serious rifles you know these are the teeth of the second amendment these rifles are as i've said many times and i'd hate to give up my a2 but i think i would and i'm going to come down to one rifle the you know the the v7 not that it's like oh man 50 percent better than anything else it's just it's got the short barrel it's a Daniel Defense, 
It's never failed me. It's got everything I like. I can put the red dot on it. I don't happen to have one on here right now. It's kind of lightweight, uh, a great shooter. And I might just shoot it again to make sure I'm, I'm, uh, I'm choosing correctly. Can I do that? Let me take a couple of shots because I might change my mind. But I think this is the rifle. Do I have anything left to shoot at? Yes, I do. I have that red square plate. I'm going to shoot it again. Yeah, that's it. The V7. If I can just have one, uh, as much as I hate to give up my sentimental firearms, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, this would be it. I'm not saying this is the best AR-15 ever made. That's not what this is about. It's just of the ones I have. Uh, and if I had to sell them all, uh, things must be pretty bad, right? Either financially or otherwise. <laughs> I'll just keep this one and it will do anything I need it to do. And I can put any sight on it I want to. And I can, uh, you know, with the M-Lock, I can uh, put any other gadgets on here. You know, my toaster or whatever I want to do. And uh, it feels good. It's got a long enough grip. And shoots great. Nice trigger. Just a nice, nice rifle. I would expect it to work and be as accurate as I can be. Okay? So, anyway, that's my, my choice for the last AR-15 I would ever sell. Not, again, that it's like a lot better than anything else on the table, but it edges out the others for the reasons I mentioned, okay? So, which one would you choose of the ones I brought out, those five, those five finalists? Uh, what would be your favorite uh, to keep or the one you would keep? You know, may not be your favorite, but which one would you keep out of practicality or just whatever, okay? So, Glad y'all came by and appreciate your support. Life is good. Oh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh man. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastall, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So, Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J O H N underscore H I C K O K 45 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos. <laughs>